Hello everyone, Father Lamb here, and it's Wednesday and it's May 1st. Just turn the calendar, here we go, May 1st, unbelievable. The month of Our Lady. And um, I was just touched the other day, I think it was, uh, maybe it was yesterday, I guess, uh, at the readings at Mass, that uh, what Jesus says to his disciples is something that we hear every uh, single time we go to Mass. And Jesus said to them, uh, my peace I give you, peace is my gift to you. And I often think about that, like peace being a gift. You know, th this, this world of ours is so crazy, there's so much violence. I mean, you just open up the paper, watch the news any day. I mean, I, I think it was just a couple days ago, the four of those uh, marshals were, were killed down, down in Charleston. It was just awful, you know, eight of them were shot, and four were killed serving a warrant. And not just the, how horrible it is that they die, but then just so many people are affected by that, their families and children being raised now without, well, Father, it's, it's terrible. There's a lot of violence in the world. There's a lack of peace, and it bothers all of us. And that's just more on a local level, not even to mention what's going on in the Middle East, the Ukraine, and other parts of the world. So peace is a gift. Peace is a gift from Jesus, but also peace is something that you and I have to work at. It's both, 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 of, those, uh, both of those areas. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, Jesus says, peace is my gift to you. Peace comes from being in a right relationship with God. That's what it is. When we're right with God, we have peace inside us, you know? And so if we have a lack of peace in our hearts, we need to take a look at that. And that's what our, our spiritual lives, our inner lives are all about. So I may have a sin there that, you know, I'm not at peace, so I'll go to confession, let go of it, let's move on. Um, I may have a relationship that there's a struggle there, there's a hurt there. Maybe I need to make amends to that person and, and work through that so I can be at peace, so they can be at peace. So we can, you know, take the gift of peace that Jesus wants to give us, and if we don't have it, let's, let's work on that. And it comes, as I said, in being in a right relationship with Christ. <clears throat> if you want to get theological about this, it really is about the relationship of Jesus with the Father, his Father, okay? And that's the gift that Jesus is giving to his disciples and to us. The whole life of Jesus Christ could be summed up in doing the will of the Father. That's what Jesus wanted to do. And that's where his peace came. And it all comes to a culmination in the Garden of Gethsemane. When Jesus goes into the garden and he knows that death is right there on the horizon, the tide has turned against them, they're gonna kill him. And he doesn't want that to happen, he's human. So he says, Father, take this cup from me. It's a very, very normal human response to something like that, to the violence that was before him. But then he said, your will, not mine, be done. Because Jesus wanted to be at peace with the Father. And it was the Father's will that he would suffer and die, as unbelievable as that is. See? So that's that inner life of Jesus and the Father that Jesus then shares with his disciples. Peace is my gift to you. And we find peace by doing God's will in our lives. So you have the, the love and peace from Jesus to the Father and the Father to Jesus, which really comes out as the Holy Spirit that Jesus is then giving to his disciples and giving to us. It's having the Holy Spirit within us that brings us peace. But then we got to work at it. And that's not easy. How do you and I bring peace into this world? It's so easy to become part of that violence, right? Uh, you know, a tit for a tat. Somebody, you know, says something to you and you say something back. That's our world. If somebody cuts you off in traffic, you yell at them and they give you a gesture. And this, this is just the kind of thing that happens constantly in our world. So maybe the simplest way to do it and make it concrete is to pray to God to ask us, once we have peace in our own heart, is to help us to be instruments of peace. And the best way to do that is to live the prayer of St. Francis, huh? Remember, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Uh, where there's injury, pardon. Um, where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. Where there's sadness, joy. That's what God's calling us to. So we may not be able to change what's going on in the Middle East, but you and I can make a difference in the world around us. And that's what we're responsible for. So maybe this week, and it's not an easy thing to do, we might ask God to help us to be instruments of peace. But first of all, accepting the gift of peace that Jesus wants to give us, that he gave his disciples. If we're not at peace, why am I not at peace? What's going on in my heart right now that I'm not at peace? And maybe that's the effort we need to take, which is, whether it's going to confession because we're guilty of doing something, or as I said earlier, it means reaching out to someone and coming to forgiveness in a relationship. And once we find that peace in our own heart, as we go out into our day, ask God to help us to truly be instruments of peace. 
So that's it. It's not going to be easy. Let's look at that in our own lives. Ask God to give us his gift of peace so we can be instruments of peace in this world. God bless you.